Okay, so when you arrive on the yard, it's important that you've already got all of the right equipment to do your job. So this starts definitely with an approved riding hat. Not too big, not too small. It needs to be well fitted, which your local saddlers will help you with. Also, a pair of good riding boots with a decent heel on them. No wellies, definitely no trainers, as these can get stuck in the stirrups and can cause a very nasty accident. You also need to be wearing an approved standard body protector as an extra layer of protection. And if you don't own a body protector, then the trainer should have some that you can borrow. Gloves are optional, but they are really, really handy to give you extra grip on the reins, especially if it's wet. So when you first arrive on the yard, your first port of call is to check the riding out list. Everyone will look different depending on the yard but what it will give you is the horse that you're riding and also the times that you need to pull those horses out. There'll also be extra information on there if any horses have to wear anything extra. For example, this horse here has to wear a pair of Yorkshire boots. So you want to get this right. And again, if there's anything that you're unsure about, ask the trainer, an assistant trainer or another senior member of staff and they will gladly help you out. And once you know what horse you're riding, make sure you've got the correct tack and equipment for that horse. And again, anything you're unsure about, just ask. So around 20 minutes before you're due to pull out your horse, you need to give your horse a good brush over. This isn't just to make it clean, it's also to make sure that there's no problems with the horse, for example, under the saddle. And also just check that all four shoes are on the horse and you do this by picking the horse's feet out. And there's a full length video on how to groom and tack up a racehorse on our YouTube channel. And just be ready five minutes before you are due to pull out as you don't want to be the person holding up the rest of the string. So once you're ready to go, there will be somebody there ready to leg you up so you can join the rest of the group. And then you will pull out into either a trotting ring or a place that you walk around. And it's very important, especially on flat yards, make sure the colts are in front of the fillies as colts can cause an accident if they get in behind the filly. So the first thing to do as you're leaving the yard is to check your girth. You simply do this by putting both reins in one hand, move your leg forward, and then pull each girth strap up one at a time. You don't want to do it too tight, as this can cause the horse discomfort. And if it's over tight, it can also give them what is called a girth gall, which could make it difficult for them to be ridden the next day as it will be very sore. So this is a really important part of riding a horse, this first moment when you pull out of the yard. You might never have ridden this horse before, so you've got to give yourself a chance to get to know the horse and for the horse to know you. You know, try and be nice and relaxed, give the horse a pat and reassure him that everything's good. And this is also the point where the trainer is going to give you instructions on the exercise for the morning. Make sure you listen carefully to this and if you don't understand it, ask and ask again.